in my home studio, so I gotta make sure I sound, you know, make it look, gotta make it look good. You know, you never know. Okay. Well, welcome to PLP Network. Um, we're doing another exclusive interview for Bread Magazine. I have with you today the industry logo, EJ, the DJ, all the way from New York, to make sure you tell everybody what's up and what you got going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Thank you for having me. Okay. Um, tell us some of the people you worked with um, in the past in your profession. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I got a hum humble beginnings. Um, I started at Rockefeller Records. Um, shout out to everybody at Rockefeller. At the moment, I was doing anything, you know, Dame Dash, um, Jay-Z, um, Garvin Stewart, Daryl Tweet, all the people that I worked with in the past that definitely did their thing. Um, then I went to Rockefeller. I'm sorry, I went to um, Vibe Magazine. Vibe Magazine was amazing over there. I did artist relation and marketing. Um, shopped in Color Rapid, um, Fred Jackson. Um, I learned so much in that field. It was just like phenomenal. Um, then I moved on up, I went to college, you know, did my college thing, took up marketing, learned the marketing aspect. Then I um, started at Warner Brothers Music Group. And Warner Brothers Music Group, so I worked with um, Yenny Smith over there at Warner Brothers with Jim Jones with the A&R. It was, it was an amazing opportunity, we learned so much. And now, you know, I started my own company. Now I'm easy to DJ. <laughs> All right. Um, who influenced you to become a DJ? Um, a D being a DJ was something I always wanted to do. But um, unfortunately, I didn't have nobody teaching me. I always wanted to do it because I love music. Music was like something I was always into. So I, I love partying. I love having fun. And I always go to parties and I felt like the DJ wasn't doing enough. I wasn't having the most fun. So the opportunity presented itself, you know, I taught myself how to DJ and it made sense. And then from, from there, I started with the EJ to DJ and I never looked back. I taught myself. Um, how did you get the name EJ to DJ? Is that your actual name or how did you get that name? That's an interesting question. Um, my, my name is EJ. Um, my, one of my, one of my homies actually, um, my homies actually shot, shouted out my name, but like EJ to DJ. At first I didn't like it. I thought it sounded kind of kiddish because it was the EJ, the DJ, but then it had a good, good catch to it. It had a good ring to it. And then from there, it was like EJ the DJ. What I, I liked about the name EJ the DJ was because I put my name first, because I'm first EJ, and EJ is a hustler. I'm in very ambition about my business, so EJ first before the DJ. So every DJ got DJ first, so I'm EJ the DJ. So I have my own identity as EJ before the DJ, if that makes sense. Okay. Um have you done anything else besides DJing? Have you been acting? Have you been hosting? Uh, what else have you been doing besides being a DJ? Oh yeah, I've definitely been doing a lot. Um, I've been hosting, um, shout out to a mixtape game. I've been doing some mixtapes. Um, I did my first mixtape, uh, I wanna say 2009, um, but I didn't really understand the mixtape concept as I do today. So I'm bringing that back out, actually strong. I just, re -rele I just released a new mixtape recently um, in March actually. Um, it's called the Pandemic 2020, so that was pretty dope. Um, I did a few acting, but not real serious with it. Um, I was in a movie called um, Music and Lyrics by, Bru by Drew Barrymore, but I was an extra. But it was a good opportunity. I was actually in it. I got paid for the role, so it was a good opportunity. Um, I'm, get I'm getting into acting, but not as of yet. That's something I would like to do along the line. Okay. Um, what are some of the people you're looking forward to working with in the future? Mm, that's an interesting question. I want to work with a lot of people. Um, shout out to like Meek Mills. I, I like what he's doing. You know, he's doing a lot of stuff for like the um Jeff Reform. I'm um, definitely gonna work with Jay Z. You know, I love how, how he's very efficient and very well rounded. Um, somebody I really want to work with right now, I would say um somebody like a Funk Flex. Like I like what Flex stand for. Um, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of people I really can't name right now, but I definitely would like to sit down with Charlie the God. Um, far as his interviewing techniques is like awesome. He's real cutthroat and he's about his business. So like Charlie the God is somebody I would love to work with in the near future. Okay. Um, so with that being said, how has the um pandemic affected um your moves and how has it affected your business um in this era by you being a DJ? It's, it's funny you said that. Well, for me, it actually helped me. And it helped me in a lot of different ways because at one point in time, I didn't learn. I had to learn how to do graphic work. I do, I do all my graphics currently. 
I do video video editing currently. I edit all my radio shows. I do all that myself. So, so the pandemic actually helped me out. Um, I actually had a chance to open a new business. So I'm offering flyers, design work for artists as well, photo shoots as well, um, open a studio. So for me, it actually helped me out. I can say it helped me out. Some people don't like it, but for me, it gave me a chance to sit down, think, rebuild, and strategize. All right. Well, we definitely um, appreciate you hanging out with us with um, the POP Network and um, Red Magazine. Um, look forward to, um, you know, getting you the link so you can see this interview live online. Okay. Um, make, make sure you tell everybody where they can find you and um, how they can link up with you if they need to book you for their next event. And we'll definitely um, do the same on our end to um, make sure that everybody know who you are. Nah, no doubt. Definitely um, check me out. Um, I am EJ the DJ dot com. That's spelled I A M. E J A Y T H E D J. So that's I am E J the DJ dot com. That's right. That's my website. All social media platforms. I am E J the DJ. And don't forget, um, check out my show on YouTube. It's the E J the DJ show, number one show for independent artists and taking over the, the web. So check that out. E J the DJ show. Everything is my name. You see it right here and lights. E J the DJ spelled out. E J the DJ. Everything. I'm here. Um. Your next, the next question is, how is it like the um, interview chefs too? Have you um, interviewed any chefs on your show before? So how was it like interviewing him? Yeah, shout, shout out to the chefs too. Um, definitely great, great guy, very intelligent. I like what he's he's doing. You know what I'm saying? It, it's really rare to hear somebody that's a chef. And you know, shout out to the black males. I just feel like males cook the best anyway. And he just has to get get that spice to it. Um, shout out to the stew sticks. I definitely want to try it. Um, you know, during the pandemic, I had a chance to interview him. Um, wasn't able to interview. It, it wasn't able to meet him face to face as of yet because the pandemic. He's in LA. I'm in New York. But when the time opened up, definitely gonna chop it up with him more. Definitely great guy. I love what he got going on. Definitely amazing. Okay. Um. Well, we definitely thank you for being a part of the show, and I hope to talk to you soon. Definitely, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.